Good morning, good morning, America. Ali here. Today we're going to talk about some goal setting. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're not really set up for success, this class might probably be for you. Or if you even struggle uh, to put uh, you know goals in a piece of paper or even know how to set yourself up uh, with the proper goals. Are you aiming high? Are you aiming low? Are you doing it right? Do you have the right accountability process? So, um, you know, uh, this is what we're going to be focusing on. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I see everybody already hopping on. Where's everybody from? So we can give you all a shout out. I see the hearts. I see the love. I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the love. Bam. Arkansas. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Fabian 3 or 133 three just joined us. Good morning. Where are you from, Fabian? Manitoba, Canada. Awesome. Good morning, Canada. Benny Prasidi. Prasidi. Okay. Good morning, Benny. Where are you from? I see England. Fabian, good morning. Hello, Benny. Where are you calling from? Where are you jumping on from? Awesome. Facebook, Junior. Where are you from? Awesome, awesome. All right, well, it looks like everybody's starting to hop on. So uh, for you, Parish Cove, Virginia, good morning. Maryland, good morning, good morning. I see everybody. Uh, if you swipe from the left to the right, if you're an Apple product or if you swipe up on Android product, you're going to see a share button. Jakarta, good morning, sir. How you doing? Um, uh, do us a favor. Give us a share. Invite your uh, Parish Cove and Twitter followers so they can check out this really, really, really important generic information just to help them out a little bit. We're not selling anything. We're not pushing any product, service company, or anything like that. We're just invested in each other, giving each other as much help as possible. Um, and, and you see those hearts are on the bottom right? That's you telling us we kind of like the message, Ali, and we definitely, definitely want you to do it again tomorrow. So keep the love coming as you give and you shall receive, right? Facebook, you as well can share, you can comment, you can like, or you can give us those reactions as well. So uh, Ali here, it is a new amazing, amazing uh, uh, week. Uh, what's this about? It is about generic uh, coaching. It's about goal setting for business. We don't talk about any product, service, or any companies. So there's nothing to buy, sell. Uh, it's just help, 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 and we invest in each other as a community. But great question. Hope you stick around. Uh, so uh, I've been in business for the last seven years, built businesses in six countries, 27 states, and um, you know I'm a published author, and I do a lot of uh, business coaching on different platforms, trained over 25,000 people, and I'm here today just to help you out a little bit with what you need to do to set up your goal. And I picked this very same topic specifically, specifically today. Oh, good morning, Alejandra, Ohio. How you doing? Lizette, New Jersey. Good morning. Uh, it's because I know for a fact today is the first of the month. And it is extremely important that you are set up for the right activities, that you are set up for income producing activity in any business, whether you're a traditional business, whether you are in e-commerce, whether you are on, on network marketing or multi-level marketing, it doesn't matter. There's always a set of goal setting that needs to happen. And if you don't set it up, and fortunately you will set yourself up for failure. So not having goals, it's like walking blindfolded. Literally, it's like your your hope you're you're going on the right track. You hope you're not destroying your business. You hope that you're not sh falling short. But if you don't have a goal that is set up 100%, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get to the right activities. Uh, not having goal setting is irresponsible, extremely, extremely irresponsible. And it will definitely lead you to lack of motivation because if you don't have something that you're, you're excited about, you're not going to get up in the morning to want to do it. So you have to have goal setting right away in order to have the proper mindset. Uh, so a few things, uh, you got to set goals that scare you. So whatever that goal, like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit that. That is exactly the goal you're going to have to set up for. And I'll explain why later on. You got to tell the world about it. Literally tell every single individual, hey, just for the, by the way, I'm going for a million dollars of production this month. And guess what? Because now the world is going to hold you accountable. Now the world is going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to watch you. And they're also going to be more excited about you. They might even want to hear about how you're going to do it. It may even create new prospects for you. So make sure you tell the world. Number three, figure it out. Period. See, business is never a cookie cutter inside a box. Just open it and go. You always have to figure it out. So whether you have to make phone calls, whether you have to go social media, whether you have to build an email list, whether you have to go door knocking, whether it doesn't matter. 
figure it out. That's how entrepreneurship is set up. That's why 90% of the people or 95% of the people who get involved in any type of business, they leave it within their first three months because they are not built for their mental attitude. They're not built for that mental toughness to figure it out. So use your ingenuity, your creativity, and figure it out. Uh, have a mentor or a coach to help you set up those goals. Somebody who already has achieved those numbers or those goals. Somebody who's already there where you want to be. Because, see, it's a lot easier for me to just copycat what somebody else has done, obviously, with their permission. Someone that you want to be where they are in life, right? So let, let them know, hey, listen, how you doing? I'm in your business or I'm in the same profession or I'm your neighbor or whatever. I see you've been doing this. Do you mind if you share with me what you've been doing? And can you just help me out set up some appropriate goals for myself, for my level of knowledge, for my level of effort and so on and so forth. So it makes it a whole lot easier. Trust me. Have an accountability uh, uh, um, person, an accountability partner to report to especially not a family member. So it can be a family member, but the closest the person to you, the more comfortable you are going to be with them where you're not going to be accountable to. It's like being in the gym with your best friend. Yeah, you're going to show up. You're going to do certain things. But if you are in the gym with an accountability partner, someone that you're not really tight with, but your effort motivates their efforts and their efforts motivate yours, you're definitely going to do a whole lot more with that person that you're not comfortable with. So have an accountability partner. Uh, use thresholds. What does that mean to use threshold? To use a threshold so uh, is to have different um, you know goal setting points, to have different little um, you know uh, a daily goal, a weekly goal. We call those short short term goals. A long term goal is a monthly goal, a yearly goal, and then you have your final destination, which is two to five years to ten years, whatever that is. So those are your threshold that will keep you waking up the next morning motivated and excited about going the distance, about doing the proper activities. And they have to be done the proper way. So make sure you have someone who helps you set them up. Uh, use a calendar or a daily planner. I always talk about this. I've had classes that were dedicated to this. Don't just use your phone because anytime a notification will come up like two two notifications just popped up in my screen and i just went like this took them off and took them off and if i don't have it on my daily plan they're physically written down so once i'm done with this i grab and i look on my planner what's next you will forget it you will not be able to go back to it that's just because we are human beings that's what we do so use a calendar and a daily planner to keep you organized also be consistent and have a routine. It is not easy doing the same thing over and over again. It takes three weeks to break or build a habit. So be consistent. If you do what I tell everybody, if you do something 30 days in a row, you've adopted it as a routine. So you got to go. It's like, um, you know, somebody who wants to quit smoking. They're like, oh, I quit for two weeks. Yeah, that's great. But it didn't get you to where you need to go. You got to go all the way out, right? So be consistent and have a routine. Don't be a perfectionist. This is what we call a business owner self-sabotage, right? Do not be a perfectionist. It's never going to work out the way you want it to work out. That's why, remember when I told you, set a goal that scares you. So if you fall short, you're still where you want to be. So set a goal that is high enough. Don't be a perfectionist. Expect things to not work out the way they're supposed to. That is normal. That is natural. That's how it always is. That's how it always be. If you hit your goal every single month in business, you're doing something wrong. Your goals are not high enough. Right. You cannot I repeat, you will not and you cannot ever be able to control what others do. So so if you are especially like in the network marketing business and you have five, 15, 20 people that are working your business, don't make your goals counted on their production. It's not going to work out that way. You cannot control what they do. You cannot control their circumstances. You cannot control their lifestyle. You cannot control their problems. You cannot control the way they solve their problems. So the only goals you should ever set is the goals that you and only you can control. All right? So, so make sure that you do not make any goals that are based on other people's efforts. It's, it's dangerous and it plays with your mental attitude because you're expecting something to happen and expectations usually in business especially leads to disappointment. Discipline your mindset. You know, you will fall short as I've mentioned earlier. That's why I said aim extremely high. Aim for a million, you'll fall in a half a million dollars. Aim for a hundred thousand, you'll, you'll fall short for fifty thousand. 
Aim for 50, you'll fall short for 25. Aim for 25, you'll fall short for, it always falls that way. So make sure you keep that in mind and say, what do I really want to go for, right? And aim double that and genuinely believe that you're going to go for double that. Go crazy, challenge yourself, challenge everybody. And remember, set a goal, tell the world and figure it out, right? Do your goal setting out of excitement and motivation, not fear and desperation. I see people who are like, I need to make money right now. I need to make, I, oh my God, this is so bad. I need to make a thousand dollars today. Like that desperation is not going to give you the right activities because your mental attitude is already off uh, the, the, of the, the right setting that it doesn't matter how good you are in your, in your line of business, you're attracting the wrong um, activities or the wrong prospects or the wrong processes because everyone can sense desperation out of you. And especially if you are in sales, network marketing, direct sales, anyone who senses desperation, they get skeptical. Why are you sucking up on me right now? Like back off a little bit. Why are you trying to sell me this so hard? Right. So make sure you're doing it out of excitement and motivation, not fear and desperation. And last but not least, continue to work on your craft every single day because things change. Uh, processes change. Product change. The customer's mon mindset change as they get educated on whatever you have. So work on your craft every single day. Meditate, read, write, watch videos, listen to audiobooks, different things that are going to help you continue to get better, different things that are going to help you work on yourself and always have the proper income producing activities because without income producing activities there's absolutely nothing that will 100 uh, percent set you up for for uh, for failure or success ben from facebook oh you went from periscope to facebook can't wait to run my media and creative business very soon this year all due to consistencies and thresholds I've been maintaining in the last 12 months. Awesome. You guys got to check out Ben. Uh, he's from Jakarta, but uh, an, an incredible entrepreneur, always online, networking, connecting with people, and doing some great things. So, uh, Ben, we love you, my friend. We love you. Um, but anyhow, so that is the class for today. Uh, I updated the domain uh, workwithali.com. It is really, really simple. Workwithali.com. Uh, it still will redirect you to medaoienterprise.org. It's just um, after the coaching event we had last Saturday, I've been coached by Nadia Melton, the queen of branding and marketing. And she said, you know, uh, that domain that you have is great, but it's called a landmine because it's already hard enough to spell Medawi. It's even harder at times for people to spell enterprise. And then the .org could be mixed for the .com. So it was a coaching moment for me that I realized, man, she's got a valid point. So, uh, you know, we're always learning. I'm learning and I share with you right now. So uh, workwithali.com. If you wanted to get a complimentary coaching session with yours truly, workwithali.com forward slash schedule simple right uh, and uh, I hope today's class helped you out a little bit I'm going like literally right now to be in uh, Philadelphia after that I'll be in central Jersey after that I'll be back into Cherry Hill and South Jersey and all over so uh, if I'm anywhere around you or if you want to connect in any way if you need help with anything specific let me know tomorrow is success tools Tuesday so we might be talking about some books where we might be talking I think I'm gonna actually cover uh, the tools that I have in my phone like I have a whole folder of things that I cannot build my business without so I'll be sharing them with you tomorrow so you can have uh, the right tools for yourself in your cell phone as well to be able to build a massive business so thank you so much for all the hearts thank you so much for all the love thank you for sharing thank you for commenting and thank you for giving me a little bit of your time early every single morning and I'll see you tomorrow at 8 30 a.m. take care everybody